Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown series. In at number 16, it's Starport. Now this was released in 1989 by Superior Software and it was developed by Tony Oakden. It's a puzzle platformer uh, which includes inbuilt mini game logic puzzles as well. Uh, it's one of three uh, puzzle platform style games that Tony released in the late 80s, uh, the other two being Quest and Camelot. In fact, Starport started out as a reskin of Camelot uh, before eventually evolving into a game in its own right. Uh, it was only ever released as part of the Play It Again Sam 14 compilation, so it never actually had a solo release. Uh, but in Tony's opinion, uh, I had the great pleasure of interviewing him last year, uh, he told me that uh, it's actually his favourite of the three adventure games that he produced. Uh, and it's very easy to see why. It's a very engaging game. Uh, you can spend many hours playing it. It's difficult, but not so difficult as to be impenetrable, uh, as some games were back in the day. Uh, and it's uh, it's really, really good fun. It's got a good storyline. Um, it's just got a lot going in its favour. And that's why I've brought it in at number 16. So we're going to take a look at it now. All right, let's start it up. There we are, Starport, written by Tony Oakton. So the Starport beta has been attacked by hostile alien forces, uh, and essentially what you're trying to do is make your way through the Starport and collect the medical kits, uh, after which you can then escape from the Starport. Um, the base is populated by robots, as it says there. Um, they're the sort of biggest nemesis. You've got sort of standard issue robots that roam along the floors, and then you've also got flying robots as well. Uh, you have a laser that you can shoot them with, but uh, the laser only has limited shots, so you have to be fairly careful with that, parsimonious. Um, uh, you've got energy, which keeps your shield topped up, uh, and obviously if that runs out, then you will be uh, at the mercy of the robots if they hit you. Uh, and you've also got oxygen to be mindful of as well. So uh, you'll see all of those things uh, on the left-hand side of the bar of the game once we get into it. There you go, you can see it there uh, on the opening screen. Uh, now you can see, press space to start. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, puzzles, um, partly because they're just a big, a big part of the game and, and, and really good fun, um, but also because when you encounter them for real uh, in Starport, uh, you will find that uh, you don't get a lot of time to study them because uh, there's a timer, and when the timer runs out, um, that's it, you, you, you're dead. So uh, you have to get the puzzle right. Uh, you can move the discs around as much as you want, but obviously the more you move them, the, the sort of further away you're likely to be from solving it. It's a bit like a Rubik's Cube. Uh, sort of effect in sort of two dimensions. Um, so the idea is to get the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I reading sort of um, sequentially from left to right, um, from top to bottom. Uh, so at the moment we've got the A, B, C in the right place. In fact, A, B, C, D is in the right place, but we need to get that E uh, shifted so that it gets to uh, the middle of the uh, discs there. So if you turn uh, the, um, the fourth disc anti-clockwise, there you go, I only took one move to complete that one. Uh, here we've got A, B, G. Uh, we would like to ideally get that C to come up next, uh, but we also need to make sure that the E is in the right position as well. So what I'm going to do is spin the fourth wheel um, this way, and then spin the third wheel this way. And now if we spin the... Th oh, wait, no, I've done that wrong. Uh, no. <laughs> so you can already see uh, you do need to be uh, fairly, uh, fairly observant. So I'm going to... I'm going to press R to reset that, so that takes us back to the beginning. Uh, so actually, what I probably should have done, let me think, um, I should have gone A, B, uh, maybe we can do, if we put the E over there, maybe the C up there. Um, does that work? If I was to now spin the fourth wheel, A, B, C, D, E, H. Ah, oh, no, now we've, got the, uh, now we've got the F down in the wrong position. Let's reset that again. Um, anyway, you can already tell uh, from my brief uh, sort of practice run here that uh, you don't you don't really get much of a chance to sort of um, play these uh, puzzles um, in the game for real because the timer would have run out long before now. So uh, you do need to have a good practice run through these puzzles. Um, I used to think that it was the exact puzzle. There you go, managed to do it in two there. I used to think it was the exact puzzle that you saw um, on the game in correspondence with the level number, but actually there's a certain amount of randomization that happens as well so you can't just go through the practices work out all the moves and then just write them down um, it does sort of uh, trick you up on occasion anyway we're going to go directly into starport itself now 
and here we are. So this is our is our chap up here, moving left and right. And there's a robot down there. Um, you can see already that my oxygen is ticking down, so um, need to make sure that I, you know, make my way through. This emergency lock, incidentally, is where we need to, I think, escape from at the end. I'll be honest with you, I haven't ever completed Starport, but um, I've had a good run at it. So we can jump around. And, oop, there we go, shot by a robot there. So you can see my, sh my uh, energy goes down each time I get hit by a robot. Now these robots take two two shots. And there you go, they disappear in a rather jolly little sound there. Ah, here's one of the puzzles. Uh, ooh, hang on, I need to go for... There we go. Ooh, that was lucky. Um, normally I, uh, I get a bit flustered and then uh, I, I end up messing it up. But uh, you can see that the puzzle, by solving it, lets you into uh, a later part of the level. So we're now on level two. Um, there's a wonderful, wonderful map of Starport, which uh, you can see in the uh, Acorn uh, World in Pixels book. Um, it's a wonderful um, diagram of the uh, of, of the map. Oh my goodness, the robots respawn, just to uh, point that one out. So uh, yes, if you do uh, kill them and then walk out of the room, unfortunately they do come back. And now the reason I couldn't keep going rightwards, by the way, uh, is because there was a there was a, there was a gate in the way which needs a key card. So we need to make sure we find that key card. Uh, on the bottom left of the screen, you can see some empty holes there. Um, they fill up with key cards as and when you collect them. So I'm going to go try 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 going this way. Yeah, sorry. As I was saying about the map, uh, the map is a, is is, is triangular. So uh, the the starport is essentially a, a large triangle in shape. And when you see it all laid out uh, in in the book. Um, it really is quite a sight to behold. Um, it really gives you an appreciation of the uh, game design as much as anything else. I mean, there's one of those flying robots down there. It looks rather nasty. Okay, now the, uh, the, the you'll notice the hue of the uh, starport has has gone slightly pink now. Uh, the reason being, we are close uh, to the reactor. Um, I'm going to show you the reactor. The reactor is here, and um, it is dangerous. Uh, I'm going to just demonstrate. Uh, why why it's dangerous. If you go into the reactor and you don't have your irradiation suit, I'm afraid you uh, you die pretty quickly. Um, you'll notice my energy ticking down really quickly there. So uh, yes, you do uh, you do need your anti-radiation suit to be able to get into the reactor. So it's not a part of the uh, game that you want to wander into by mistake, as I did. Well, didn't do it by mistake. I, I was demonstrating. Oh, oh, that's my uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking I'm sticking to it. Let's uh, that guy out of the way. Now, in theory, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't just blast robots every time you see them because they do respawn, and you've only got a limited laser supply. So uh, it's it's best not to just shoot them willy nilly. But um, obviously, it's quite satisfying to do so. So we're going to hit the puzzle gate again. Uh, and oh crumbs, uh, is it that one? No. Uh, a B. Oh, see, you see what I mean? You don't you don't get an awful lot of uh, time to uh, to really study it. So uh, we'll. we'll We'll try that one again because uh, we do need to go through that, that uh, gate in order to move on with the level A, B, C. So is it four? There we go. I needed to move the fourth wheel clockwise. All right. So you can see a medikit, by the way, uh, down there. You can't reach it. It's um, one of those lovely aspects of puzzle platform games that I really like. It's something you get in Citadel as well, where you, you can see the object that you want to, to collect, but not able to collect it from that position in the room. So. Let's make our way along here, blast this guy, come down here. We won't go into the reactor this time because obviously we don't have the uh, the anti-radiation suit. We'll just blast that guy and I'm trying to remember, do I want to go straight up here? I do like these, these sort of air, air shafts, or anti-grav shafts, quite clever aren't they? All right, now he is worth quite a few points if you shoot him, but um, I am not going to just yet. I'm going to go this way and see what I can. Oh, oh my goodness me! Oh, I've got a lot of energy taken off me there. Right. Well, there's a there's an oxygen tank. I, to be honest, I'm probably a little bit early collecting it at this stage, but uh, since I'm here, I'll uh, I'll pick it up. Obviously, there's an optimal way to complete Starport, and uh, I'm probably not demonstrating that particularly adeptly. But um, really, what I'm trying to do is give you a a flavour of the game. Um, because it is wonderful, and you, as I said in the introduction, you can spend many, many hours uh, exploring, um, trying to find the sort of critical path, if you like, through the game. Oh, I didn't quite make it there. 
It's very, very clever. You'll notice that even if you fall from too great a height, sort of blagger style, uh, you will unfortunately uh, lose your lose a little bit of energy. But um, it is uh, it is a fairly sparing game. So because you've got the energy, uh, you don't die instantaneously. There we go, our first medikit, and you'll notice that that gives us a score boost as well. So there you are. You, uh, we're on our way. Now the game is quite it's quite clever that um, it's got it's got quite clever physics. So if you hold down the enter key, um, he he jumps for longer. Uh, if you just hit it sort of sparingly, he just kind of oops, just kind of drops a little bit. Um, now hang on, I've been down here before, haven't I? This is where the oxygen is, but I haven't managed to collect that pass. I do need to get that pass because uh, if I don't collect that, I won't be able to get to the other area of the level. Dear. Energy's taking a bit of a hit here. He's really vicious. I'm actually not... I don't know if I can get back up there. I think I might have to um, retread my path because I don't, don't think I can get back. So let's go this way. Oh my lord. Keep well away from those uh, funnels there. Now each robot uh, has a different sort of hit count, so some of them uh, only require one one hit, um, others require more. The flying ones, I think, require about five, uh, so they're fairly uh, brutal. Um, but you need to conserve that laser because, as I say, if it runs out, you're basically left with no choice but to run through the robots, which um, is fairly devastating for the old energy supply. Yes, now sorry, that's yes, that's the, oh no, that's the gate that I need to clear. So I need to go and see if I can find the pass, which I think I need to go this way. And then instead of going into the flying monster room, oop, let's just try and duck underneath him. There we go. Yeah, instead of going into that flying monster room, I will go underneath. I think underneath the reactor maybe. Let's see if we go down here. No, I don't think I can go under the react. Ooh, hang on. Uh, uh, I need to go down here, is it? Ooh, ooh. Ah, there it is, the pass. You find pass one. There you go, you can see it in the uh, the bottom left. Looks suspiciously like a floppy disk, I must, I must say. It's a bit like the old uh, five and a quarter inch disk. Uh, ooh, hang on. Ah, yes, all right. So I'm going to have to go into the flying, flying, oh my goodness. Flying monster room, and then if I go underneath the flying monster room, I think I can make my way back. Back to the emergency lock, uh, and then from there, we can go through the gate that I've now managed. Ooh, now that I've collected my pass. So let's go this way. Here we are, yes, we go up here, and I always forget which. Um, Way it is. I think if you go up, is it up the high pass up here? Yep. Hang on. Come up this way and across this way. Yes, there we go. This is this is where the pass was before. Let me just take a moment to admire the graphics. I mean, not only the, I mean, they're, they're brilliant graphics, um, even sort of in, in in standstill mode. I mean, just look at it; it just looks really glorious. But on top of that, it's such a smooth game. It does not stutter at all. Oh, hang on, I've got my pass, there you go. Uh, it's really, really smooth. Really, really well done. Um, it, you, know, you don't you don't notice any kind of lag or, or sort of stutter or anything. It's just really, really well, beautiful, I think is, is the right word for it. For an 8-bit game, It's uh, it really is beautiful. Um, right. And the, and the graphics are really sharp as well, I think. Oh, that's interesting. There's a hole up there, but uh, can't get through it. Now, we've got another one of the old puzzles there, which um, <clears throat> I... Well, let's risk it. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so we've got a timer down there. So A, so if we put B up there, then we see D is in the right place. And if we shift four... There we go. Not too shabby. Oh, I say, look at that missile shooter up there and a pass three of course which we need uh, ooh. Ooh, lovely an energy recharge I'll definitely take that okay I'm still not 
Still not doing too well on the old laser front there. We could definitely do with another laser recharge. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, we haven't got past number two, so oh dear, respawning robots as well. So we can't get through that way. We're gonna have to go back this way. Now, although it doesn't have any uh, music in the game, I do think that the sound effects are very, uh, are very charming. Um, the jump, by the way, sounds sounds a little bit like Palace of Magic. Um, for those of you familiar with that game, not one we've encountered in the series yet, but uh, for those of you that have seen my uh, Avatar on the Star Dot forums. Probably guess that the game will be coming into the series at some point. Now, hang on, have I trapped myself in here? No, there we go. That's it. Now, if we need to get over. Oh dear. Probably going to use all of my energy boost just trying to get back over that way. Um... Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. Whoa. Uh -huh. Let's go down here. Uh, ooh. Ah, interesting. So now we're going over the top of the reactor. Uh, oh, look at that reactor. Look, you just you just want to go inside it. I know it's dangerous, obviously, without the radiation suit. But oh, it looks so exciting with those power modules and lamps and so on. Look great. Right, so we'll head over here. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. See, I've only got seven shots left in the old laser there, so I don't really want to spend them killing that guy because he'll just come back again as soon as I come into the kind of leave the room. Okay. Um well let's, let's get rid of him. We're down to five shots now. Uh, there's an energy cell there which I'll definitely take because I need it. Um because if I run out of lasers I need need the energy even more. Okay. Ah, well that's slightly annoying, isn't it? Pass two is there, but uh, I don't think I don't. Yeah, you see, I can't. <laughs> I actually can't get out of the uh, the anti grav. Hmm. That means I'm going to have to approach it from the other side. All right. Let's go this way. Oh no, it can't go that way because that will mean going. Yeah, you can't. Whoa! Look at him. He's following me, isn't he? Whoa. See, look, I can't, I can't go this way because um, these, yeah, no, no, that's not going to work. Uh, all right, let's. I was doing a, a practice run uh, the other day on this. I thought, oh, maybe you can jump on the uh, the flying robot's head and give you a, give you a, ooh, a boost. But it really doesn't. It just saps your energy. Okay, well, I've got five left in the tank, so. All right, let's let's do that. Um, I've now got no laser power left, so steadily killing myself as I try and make this impossible jump. Um, all right, let's see if we can do it as a running jump. Ooh, nope. Sure you can... Oh no, my oxygen ran out. <laughs> oh dear, inadequate attention being paid to the old oxygen supply there. All right, well, um, I will just uh, give it another a little go because it is good fun and uh, hopefully you agree with me on that score there we go you notice that those logic puzzles um, if you play the game for long enough you'll you'll realize that uh, they get steadily trickier now I don't want to go that way because I haven't got the pass yet uh, so yes they, they might appear as if they're fairly simple um, but the further you get into the game the harder they are to solve and of course with the addition of the time limit uh, you uh, yeah, you really have to be on top of your game, which um, you know, invariably I am not. So let's go down here, and I think if we just, Ooh, no, 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 <laughs> not quite. Here we go, and go and grab the old pass. There we are. And I should probably, st um, since I'm since I'm here, I should probably stock up on the old oxygen as well, um, which I, I think I can get. Hold on to down here. Come underneath here. Get the old oxygen boost, and then if we go straight to the uh, to the pass, at least we know we know which way we're trying to get to. We're trying to get over those spaceships. All right, Let's charge up on some oxygen. There we are, lovely stuff. All right. To say that the fact that the robots respawn as well is really tricksy because you know you can't. 
you can't sort of make the calculation of how many you know how many monsters do I need to kill uh, in order to um, you know maximize the use of the laser because if you make one false turn then when you come back into the room the uh, the robot's still there respawning like nightmare mode on doom but of course this predates doom by quite a few years uh, although it, of course it was one of the the, the late entries for uh, for the beeb and for the electron um, because um, Tony Oakden only started writing games for for Acorn Machines in sort of the the tail end of the 80s. Um, he, uh, he told me a, a story about how he basically bought uh, an Acorn Electron bundle from a uh, computer store one day, which he saw on display, and uh, that basically became his gaming uh, development platform of choice. And um, yeah, he, that's, uh, the rest is history, as they say. So uh, he, he not only put together this fantastic game that we can see here, but also Quest and Camelot, um, Cyborg Warriors as well, another one of his probably le lesser known games, uh, again released by Superior Software, um, but it's, uh, it's, another, it's another fun game. I, I only became aware of it actually by uh, through the interview with Tony, I, it wasn't one of the ones that I'd come across before, um, but it's uh, well, worth a, well worth a play if you've not played that one. Right, well, we're back to where we were. We've got a fair bit more oxygen. Um, the thing is, I'm not sure if, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I don't know. Maybe you can't get over the top, but I feel like it's giving you the, the sort of sign that you should be able to. Oop, no, 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 no. no. Uh, maybe if we. Yeah, there we go. Right, now we can get through the loading bay. Now there's some excellent graphics here. Look at that spaceship. It looks fantastic. Yes, that's what I was saying about how you can't just walk underneath because, of course, you just get blocked at that point. Oh, hello. Uh, can I walk past that? No, I can't. Um, all right. What's up here? Oh, hello. A... Can I? Yes, I can. Oh, the uncharted, te uncharted territory here, at least. I haven't been this way for a few years. Let's see what happens if we go up here. Oh. Ah, oh no, I'm not sure I should have done that, because I wasn't quite prepared. Oh, crumbs. Uh, ooh, no, let's reset that. Uh, I think we need to get the B. The B needs to go up there. Uh, so if we turn to A, B, C, D, yeah, okay. And then if I do 4, oh, is he E? Oh, no. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, I need to get the F over. Uh, no. Oh! <laughs> ah, well, I think we're going to uh, call it a day there. Um, as I say, it is a puzzle platformer, so uh, I'm, I wasn't proposing to do a full walkthrough in this review because uh, that would obviously take quite a long time, and I'm a bit rusty, as you can see. But uh, I think that's probably given you a really good flavour of Starport. It is a tremendous game. Uh, if you like puzzle platformers as much as me, um, it is definitely a game to seek out. As I say, it's uh, probably the best of the three that Tony produced, certainly the best in his opinion, and I would say the best in my opinion too. Um, that probably breaks us to the end of the review, so I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you'll uh, join me for the next one in the series. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>